Hello everyone, Invader1 here, and welcome to N7 Spec Ops, a channel fully dedicated to all things Mass Effect. Have you ever wanted to own a full-size version of any of the cool Mass Effect weapons? Well guess what, you can actually own one or create one yourself. Today we're going to review Mass Effect weapon props and the top 3 Mass Effect weapon prop designers. Before we go any further, I like to report that even the 3D printing enthusiasts have taken to print out a full size replica of the M8 Avenger Assault Rifle from Mass Effect. Jeff Legant, also known as Star Jeff or Jeff Adeo, is a French 3D designer with a background in mechanical engineering and a love for video games and 3D printing. He set out determined to create the M8 Avenger, the assault rifle that we see Shepard use a lot in the cinematic cutscenes in Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. When asked about how he went about creating this awesome 3D printed weapon, according to T. Haltman's article titled, Mass Effect M8 Avenger Assault Rifle Has Been 3D Printed, he said, I own an Ultimaker 2 and I use a wide variety of materials, PLA, ABS, PET, Laywood, Laybrick. Lagant says, I also paint my creations to make them look exactly the way I want. He also said it's made up of some 30 parts, without counting the pins and the stencil for painting. You'll need around 25 pins to assemble the full gun, Lagan explains. I strongly recommend using hard glue with the pins as the design of this rifle is not particularly stable with the pins only, big overhang of the top part. Each part fits on a regular Ultimaker 2 platform. For those of you who don't know what an Ultimaker 2 is, it is this 3D printer right here. And I think all Mass Effect fans, geeks, and cosplayers would agree that, heck yeah, this is an excellent use of 3D printed resources. Now, the top three Mass Effect weapon prop developers have done something absolutely amazing with the coolest looking guns in the game. At number three, we have Punish Props at PunishProps.com. The owner of this site is Bill Duran, and if you read his company's about page, he states that he loves to build space guns, fantasy weapons, and elaborate sets of armor as his full-time living. He started making props and costumes with friends in 2009, and at the time, he and his friends were just getting into cosplaying for local fan conventions. After that, he states that he was totally hooked. Before he knew it, he was buying more tools, building props for his friends, and traveling around the country to to attend more and more fan expos and in 2012 he quit his 9 to 5 day job and opened up his own business and built high quality replicas from around the world. If you look at his site you will find an awesome replica of the M77 Paladin pistol. He goes into amazing detail on how it was created from start to finish and shows off how awesome the M77 Paladin pistol looks. The gun looks amazing and although made out of wood, like most replicas, it has that rugged used metallic look that just makes it stand out. Now that's an awesome looking Mass Effect pistol. And number 2 we have Triforce at ProjectTriforce.com. Now Triforce Sales LLC, according to their website, is based in New York, New York and is a high-end creator of officially licensed one-to-one -one scale replicas from some of the most recognizable video games. Triforce uses state-of-the-art processes, materials, techniques, and equipment to create the most realistic products available on the market today. Their replicas are hand-finished and hand-painted, intricately crafted and cast in polystone, and normally weigh around 20 pounds and feature working LED effects. If we look at their website, they have developed replicas of the M8 Avenger Assault Rifle, the M3 Predator, the M77 Paladin, M6 Carnifex, the Disciple Shotgun, the Scorpion Pistol, and the Geth Pulse Rifle. They also seem to be officially licensed by BioWare EA to develop Mass Effect weapon replicas. Now it also seems that the Mass Effect replicas are so popular that mostly all of them are currently sold out with no new date as to when they will be available. At the moment, the only weapon replicas available for Mass Effect are the Geth Pulse Rifle, the Scorpion Pistol, and the Disciple Shotgun, which I have to admit looks absolutely amazing. At number one, we have Vulpin Props at VulpinProps.com. Now, this company is owned by Harrison Cricks, a graphic designer from Atlanta, Georgia, who started creating props as a hobby, and it then became an obsession by 2007 where he continued developing replicas and props. 
By 2011, he left his design job at a major pharmaceutical company and moved into a 2,800 square foot warehouse with a fellow artist friend to do his business full time. Bioware actually reached out to Harrison Crick's to develop an N7 Valkyrie assault rifle for the Mass Effect 3 video game launch. According to his website, the N7 Valkyrie was originally built to showcase Mass Effect 3 at BioWare's booth for San Diego Comic Con 2011. This rifle was eventually recreated 11 times for various other promotional events and offers. Two rifles were distributed as prizes for GameStop managers conferences. An additional four were built as part of Mass Effect 3 pre-release marketing as prizes to fans. And four more were shipped to Prague for the filming of the Mass Effect 3 Take Earth Back live action trailer aired in late 2011. All of the rifles except for the initial SDCC piece featured LED illumination. At Vulpin Props website, you can actually purchase the N7 Valkyrie kit raw cast parts to assemble the rifle yourself. Now wasn't that awesome? Kinda makes you want to go and get a few of these bad boys. I want to also provide an honorable mention for YouTuber The Frontline Trooper, who has also made quite a few Mass Effect replicas himself. He provides the specs so that those who follow him on YouTube or Facebook can make the weapons themselves. Good job Trooper. So what do you think? Do you agree with this list? Also, if you own any of these replicas, tell us your experience with them. If you have used them in any convention or cosplay event, or simply bought or created one because <laughs> it's just simply that cool a thing to have, let us know in the comments below. Please also make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. I Believe me, you won't regret it. This is Invader1 and I will see you in the next video. If this is your first time here and you are interested in a channel focused specifically on Mass Effect, including upcoming single player let's plays, tips and tricks, Mass Effect 3 multiplayer guides including hardcore challenges, team ups and live comps, top lists, Mass Effect art, books, news and more with a new video every week on Tuesdays and other videos throughout the week, then click on the subscribe button to stay connected with everything Mass Effect. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Invader 1 out at N7 Spec Ops.